faces the Wildcat. Wildcat ball. Tony Zemlinski heaves a mighty pass. Army's Glenn Davis intercepts. This 19-year-old fleet drills the stands with a sensational 45-yard run back. Army's ball, T formation, and it's Davis again. This time around the Wildcats end for a cadet tally. Ball and a dose of Davis, last year's speed team, for a long game. The all-powerful Army team invades New York's polo ground. Cadet Davis, in a dazzling burst of speed, scores against the Blue Devils of Duke. A magnificent example of Army's dazzling speed is Cadet Glenn Davis as he sprints across to add to the final total, Army 59, Notre Dame nothing. Historic Franklin Field in Philadelphia. The red and blue punch to Army. Doug Kenner takes the ball and calmly gives it to Glenn Davis. And when he does, just watch Mr. Davis go. If you like footloose and fancy free open field running, don't miss this. Cadet Davis, America's high point man of the year, shakes loose with brilliant interference and sweeps around right for five, for ten. He's in the secondary, and now it looks like Army's really on the move. At least the cadets think so. Watch that Army hole open as Davis scampers past into the secondary for ten, fifteen, twenty. He's in the clear. Nope, he's shoved out of bounds on Navy's 24, but it's a 22-yard gain while frenzied cadets yell for a touchdown kill. Army power cuts loose again as blocking around right shakes clear a path for Glenn Davis on end around. Man in motion to the left, and Doug Kenna flips a quick lateral to Glenn Davis, sweeping wide with swell interference around left. And Bill Barron arrives too late to prevent another Army tally as Davis skids over for his 20th touchdown of the year and a score of 23 to 7 in Army's favor. Well, that's all, you guys. This has been a hell of a game and quite a fight. Powerful Army 11 gets an early start against the Army Air Force's personnel command as Davis flashes through tackle from his own 14-yard line, cuts over to the sideline, and out sprints the entire Comet team. One of the fastest halfbacks ever seen, Davis travels like the wind to chalk up the first cadet score. But that's only the beginning for the Army as Walter House handles the passing end to toss one down the field to Davis to score another West Point tally. Army winds things up as Davis throws one to Blanchard to make it Army 32, Comet nothing. The thousand in Franklin Field is Penn faces mighty Army, one of the greatest teams of all time. All-American Glenn Davis passes back in football, averaging 10 yards every time he gets his hands on the ball. Racks up the K, that's first touchdown. Trimax speed boy Glenn Davis gets loose for a 65-yard dash that makes the final count lead 54 to nothing favor Army. Has the ball. Davis passes to Poole, who laterals to Blanchard. In the second quarter, it's a 10-yard gain and a first down. Davis carries for an Army team with 11 successive victories to its credit. Nine yards more, as before the cheering crowd, the cadets show their might. Governor Dewey can give a full pardon to Michigan, for that scrappy team fought on tooth and nail right through to the bitter end, when Davis, the fleet-footed left half, gets loose and outruns every Michigan man. The Army big guns chalk up 28 points to Michigan 7. <laughs> It's speed boy Glenn Davis, and he heaves a long one to who else but Doc Blanchard and, of course, a touchdown.
the game just two minutes old, Army's Glenn Davis is off on a 26-yard run to score standing up. Army seven, Notre Dame nothing. Can't be stopped. Tucker passes to Glenn Davis. Five enemy tacklers are between Davis and the Notre Dame goal line. But watch this 175-pound back move to that goal line. He's over for Army touchdown number two. And again, it's Davis who carries the mail, slithering through Notre Dame with the ease of a ballet dancer. When the smoke clears, it's Army 48, Notre Dame nothing. This is a touchdown parade. Davis on the loose again. Out of eight times he carries the ball, he scores three touchdowns against ten, bringing his season's total to 16. Here is pigskin perfection, Tucker Davis, and how he handles that ball. Movie Tone's camera catches the amazing rhythm of that Davis timing and back, and every teammate in position. Save us from Davis, his poise is poisonous. He even looks fast in slow motion. Watch him go. crowd of over a hundred thousand awaits the game of the year. Army versus Navy. Tucker laterals to Glenn Davis. Moving fast, Davis creeps on for 20 yards. He fumbles but out of bounds. Bursting through the midshipman's line is the Army skyrocket, Glenn Davis. The touchdown terror is off. With the game just 14 minutes old, Army piles up a 20-0 lead. Army punts his time runs out in the first half. Now it's the midshipman's ball, with 61 yards to go for a Navy team whose spirit cannot be sunk. Six seconds remain. Bruce Smith heaves a long, desperate pass to speedy Clyde Scott. Scott runs the last 40 yards with Army's Glenn Davis at his heels. Here's the same play, the game's most exciting in slow motion. Smith sends his pass hurtling through the air. receives it, with Davis just a few yards behind. It's a 40-yard race between two of football's speediest runners. Who's the faster, Davis or Scott? The half ends with Army leading 20. Navy, two touchdowns behind, kicks off to the Army team. Glenn Davis receives, carrying the ball to his own 28. Another great Army Navy contest draws to a thrilling close. Glenn Davis dashes to a touchdown. Army wins 32 to 13. The Cadet touchdown twins are running wild today. It's Davis this time hitting pay dirt. Striking through the air, Glenn Davis flips a 26-yard touchdown pass to end George Poole as Army romps over Villanova, 35 to nothing. But near the end of the half, Tucker fires a pass. Glenn Davis pulls down the heave for a cadet first down. Army fights desperately to even up the score. Another Tucker to Davis pass is complete. An Oklahoma goal post aren't far away. 47 seconds remain at Blanchard. Army is fighting its toughest battle in three seasons. Tucker passes to Glenn Davis and chalks up a first down with one yard to go. Near the end second period, Davis fires a mighty pass to Doc Blanchard, who leaps high into the air for the catch. A 40-yard gain. Just 30 seconds to go in the first half. Davis shoots a pass to Bob Folsom in the end zone for a touchdown to put Army ahead 13-7. Fourth quarter, Army's ball and it's 24. Davis passes to Blanchard, who makes another great catch for a 25-yard gain. Army marches on while the camera reveals the amazing speed and deception of All-American Glenn Davis picking up precious yardage. Now Davis passes to touchdown twin Doc Blanchard and Army's on the Michigan 8-yard. That other touchdown twin, Glenn Davis, takes his turn at running to pick skin. And it's another first down for Army. 
kick, Davis fumbles the ball. There is nothing left to do but run, and run he does. Columbia's Cusero, eluded by Davis on his first long run. West Point Cadets Manhattan. Quarterback Arnold Tucker on the rifling end of an aerial to Glenn Davis. He's in the end zone. Army's first score in the first period. Tucker hurling his third pass for a touchdown. Davis takes it as the Army wins. 24 victory in a row. 19 to nothing. Back is uh, out of the flank to the left. There's a gift to Davis coming back to the weak side, and he's stopped on the 40-yard line. 40-yard game, deep man in punt formation. Army has two safety men back, Tucker and Davis. There's the pass, which is punted away, and it's a high one, which is going down toward Davis, who takes it on the Army 20. Here he is to the 25, to the 30, up to the 35, and is hit right there. Gain, Notre Dame, no forward pass. First and 10, Army on its own 35. Blanchett in motion to the left. There's a gift to Davis, who cuts in for five, six, seven yards. Underneath the ball is Tucker, and gives to Davis, who cuts up the middle, goes across the 50, and spins out Notre Dame, 46-yard line, opening the second quarter. And there is Davis, back for a forward pass. There's a long, soft one, which is caught by Blanchard, down on the Notre Dame 23 yard line. Davis, who has been asked increasingly more and more by Army, is back now to do the punting. Carrig is back as a safety man along with Sitko for Notre Dame. Down over the ball for Army is Jim Enos. Good pass back to Davis. There is the boot. He just does get it away. The Notre Dame right end. Jack Zilly was on top of him practically. The ball rolls down to the five, to the one, and into the end zone. On the 28 yard line. Regular formation. Davis, a backward pass to Blanchard, who gives to Davis on a reverse, and he's caught back of the line, but gets to the 25, the 30, the 35. Third down and six. Third and six on their own 47. Davis in motion. Tucker takes the ball, he's back from the pass, and he tries to hit Davis in the flat, he does, at the Notre Dame 45, and he goes on. 35 seconds remaining. Tucker, a direct pass back to Davis. There's Davis for the forward pass. It's a long one down to Blanchard. He catches it. This is one of the greatest open field runners of all time, Mr. Outside. Also a three-time All-American, number 41, Glenn Davis of Army. Davis, Blanchard, and Tucker. Navy Captain Leon Bramlett. Blanchard and Davis, Army co-captains, meet with facing down the far sideline. Davis gets in behind pistol Pete Williams defending for Navy. He receives the ball, and Williams trying to catch him. He's trying to catch the Army speedster at the 20. He gets him at about the 18 and drives him out of bounds on the 14-yard line. Rowan in motion to the left. Tucker pitches out to Davis. The Army speedster really moves. He's to the five, the three, the two, one. He's over for the touchdown. He on the move, second and five. Davis in motion. Tucker back to pass. He throws to Davis on the sideline. Scott and Williams bring him down at midfield. A 12-yard gain. And watch. Let's see. But Tucker, the direct, a direct snap back to Davis. He throws to Poole. A gain of eight. And it's second and two for Army on Navy's 30 as Navy was crossed up and us too. This time, Davis hits the middle, piled up on the 27th, but it's first down. Once again, a direct pass to Davis. Blanchard down the sideline, he's in the open, and it's a touchdown. Our lead's 20 to 6. The cadets operating from T formation. A direct snap to Davis. He passes to Poole. It's complete for a nine-yard gain. Second and one for Army on its 49. Davis in motion. And there's a pass from Tucker to Davis in the flat, and he goes for 11 yards and a first down for Army. The quarterback hands to Davis. Davis breaks to the outside. He's into the clear. Basinger misses him. McCulley chasing him and hauls him down after a 29-yard gain. Won't remember that. They'll remember how close Navy came. The clock ran out on the middies at the Army four-yard line amidst confusion. We'll be back with the wrap-up in just a minute. 